Hello everyone, my name is Hrvoje and if you liked the sound of this instrument join me in this video to see if I will manage to make a case for the contra, this instrument, as the new instrument in Irish traditional music. My name is Hrvoje, as I told you I am Croatian, I live in Croatia, actually in a small city of Zaprešić, uh, it's like 15 kilometers west from the capital of Croatia, Zagreb. Uh, and I've been playing tambura uh, for about almost 30 years. Uh, and I've been playing the contra, this instrument, for I guess like 25 or even more, even more years, starting in the tambura orchestra uh, guy in Zapršić. I still play with that orchestra. And for the last 20 years, I've been also playing in a five-piece tambura band called Savski Valovi or the Waves of Sava. Sava is a river in Croatia, Slovenia and Serbia. I've been also playing uh, Irish traditional music and Celtic music in general in a trio called Trifir. And uh, I actually checked to see how long have I been in contact with Irish traditional music and actually my brother uh, started this band called MFPC 12 years ago. This band doesn't exist anymore, but uh, I was at their first gigs and I liked the, the Irish traditional music. My brother plays the tenor banjo and he also started uh, a trio called Trifir with uh, two of his mates. And uh, I now also play in that trio. I started playing uh, the guitar in the trio, but uh, since the flute player and tin whistle player uh, left the band and moved to Norway. I've been playing the whistles and recorders for the last couple of years. The trio is uh, mostly doing gigs around St. Patrick's and we, we are singing pub songs, drinking songs and so on, but we also play an, an occasional uh, tune set, uh, jigs and reels and, and, and stuff like that. Let me introduce you to the tambura. Uh, tambura is a group of instruments, a family of instruments, like say that you play, I play both string, both strings, and you can play the violin, the viola, or the cello, or, any, or, or anything like that. But tambura is a group of instruments, and when I say tambura, it's a pretty broad term because there is a Macedonian tambura, Bulgarian tambura, I even think that tambur or tambura is in India. But uh, the, the tambura I'm talking about is, this is one of the tamburas, it's called uh, the contra, but I will tell you more about the contra later. Tambura in general, when I'm speaking about tambura, it's a group of instruments uh, very popular in uh, in Croatia, in continental Croatia, mostly the region of Slavonia and uh, also my region called Zagorje and Podravina, Međimurje, everywhere we have tamburas in Croatia and also in the northern region of Serbia called Vojvodina. Uh, it's also popular there. And if you're not from this, if from Croatia or neighboring countries, you probably never heard or saw these instruments, but they are very popular here in Croatia. We mostly have them in folklore groups, uh, but we also have them in orchestras playing either classical music or music specifically made for tambura. And lately, uh, luckily, we also have it now in some uh, music academies. For a long time, we had uh, elementary schools, music schools for tambura and high schools, but there was no uh, tambura on the music academies, but now we have them also there. That's a good uh, good thing for tambura because otherwise people were finishing high school and there was nothing left for them to do uh, in a way to, to continue their uh, music musical education. Uh, as I said, tambura is a group of instruments. And as you can see on these pictures, there, there's different shapes and sizes of the instruments. Uh, from the smallest to the biggest, of course, the smallest, smaller the size, the higher the pitch. So the smallest one is called bisernica or prim. Uh, and then you have brac or bas prim. You have the celovic or 
a, a bass prim and it's similar in size to this instrument called Bugaria or Contra also called Beglite in some in the northwest region uh, from the German uh, word for accompaniment and uh, the bigger bigger than Bugaria or Contra is cello and the biggest one is uh, Berde, Begesh or Bass or we call it Tamburashki Bass meaning like tambura, tambura bass and it's not a double bass uh, you can see that it has frets and it's played uh, with a pick not with fingers or uh, or a bow so now to introduce the contra i will uh, refer to these instruments as the contra uh, because with a k spelled with a k uh, because to avoid confusion with bulgaria bulgaria uh, or to use a big light so i will always refer to these instruments as the contra and i guess the name is mostly although in in some cases like contrabass can and, and so on it mean it can mean something else but in this case contra it would mean that it's counter from the bass the bass plays the the beat and the contra plays the off beat so uh, in my band or in my orchestra i would normally never never play the 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 main beat i would just play on the off beat for if it's a polka i would just go if, i will play the bass mm. note here but uh, normally uh, i wouldn't play this would be the bass i would play if it's a waltz very exciting as you can see uh, and this instrument is never uh, it never plays the melody well never uh, maybe in some orchestra orchestra arrangements and some uh, orchestral uh, compositions you would play some like long notes or maybe a part of a melody but the the instrument itself is always uh, a backing instrument and plays the chords and it is uh, normally tuned in this uh, tuning system called colloquially the Vovodina uh, Stim, the Sriem uh, Stim. It's tuned to an open E major. So this would be like E, G sharp, B, and then E, an octave higher. And uh, as you can see, this uh, in Irish traditional music, this wouldn't be very, very applicable because you would need a D and the low D for for melodies and so on. Uh, so I will show you what how we will solve how will we solve this later. And this instrument is almost 50 years old. It's uh, actually built by Lajos Botsan Jr., uh, a master luthier from Vojvodina, a Hungarian um, luthier, in 1971. So as you can see, of course, it has been repaired since and uh, refretted and so on. But uh, as I'm showing you on this video, you can see that there are five tuning pegs, but only four strings. And reason for this is that uh, the first string, the highest string, uh, it, is, it was usually traditionally a double string, but now lately, in the last I don't know how how long couple of decades uh, it's it, this this has been this is changed and then um, there's only one string most of the time I have it as one string and a lot of contra players have it only only one first string uh, you can also see that the picks that I use are that are used for this instrument are rectangle and pretty pretty big uh, mostly uh, made out of plastic the green one is a special one, a special plastic that uh, is uh, immune to wear and tear, let's say, and it lasts for a long time. But also you can see the one that is not completely white, it's brown. Uh, it, this is made out of bone, out of uh, cow's horn. So that's also traditionally made and it also creates a old school sound. And the smallest one uh, is the one that I, I'm using and I'll use when playing melodies. So let me now just quickly tune this down to an open D chord. All done. 
so what I would like to see, I would like to see this instrument being used uh, in Irish traditional music. Uh, it's a big challenge and it's a big thing to say, but I've noticed that uh, a lot of instruments have entered Irish traditional music, like, and which are not traditional Irish instruments at all, like uh, the bouzouki, uh, the banjo, the piano accordion, uh, and other instruments. So why not the contra? I think uh, it's a good instrument for accompaniment, but it can also be used to play the tunes. Uh, as I said, it's always uh, this instrument is always used as only as accompaniment, as chord accompaniment. So I'm not, I don't have a good technique in playing melodies, but I will do uh, my best and try my best to show you uh, an example of a jig and a reel afterwards. And uh, I actually think it might work. I know that a lot of people uh, are into instruments. I am into instruments, as you can see behind me. I have the ukulele, the ukulele bass, the, another contra, classical guitar, uh, keyboards, and a lot of instruments. And I like, especially, I like plucked strings, in, plucked string instruments. So if you like like plucked string instruments, I think you would like this instrument. I have to notice that uh, it's not easy to play. Uh, the, the the string tension is pretty high especially when it's tuned to the original tuning of E major, open E major. So when you down tune, in, tune it uh, to open D major, the string tension is not, not as high, so it's a bit easier to play. One thing to say is that these instruments are not cheap in a way that, uh, that's like, like a guitar, you can buy a very cheap guitar or something, uh, because these instruments are all uh, handmade and the, the makers Tambura builders are mostly like one-man shows and maybe they have assistants or, or something but uh, so this instrument is five, 50 years old as I said and it's a well-known luthier and this instrument instruments like this would never go below like 1000 euros so 1000 euro and up if you want a really quality instrument like I have but uh, if you want a cheaper like a beginner instrument I'm not in the market for a Contra now, so I'm not sure about the prices, but I think you might, might find something for 500 euro or something, like a pretty solid beginner instrument. But if you would like a, a quality instrument, it would cost you 1000 euro or more. If you have any questions about the instrument, uh, if you want to purchase one and want to get some contact info about some builders and so on, uh, if you have any comments, if you like the instrument, if you like how it sounds, please share this video to your other plucked string instrument enthusiasts and Irish traditional music lovers. And uh, if you're open for any collaborations, I'm also uh, always uh, up for it. If you want me to accompany uh, a tune on the contra or, uh, or play a tune or make some co collaboration, I'm always up for it. And uh, I would now like to show you an example of a jig and a reel. Uh, the jig will be the cash jig and uh, I will also play uh, a reel. First I will play the A part of a jig or reel uh, without accompaniment and then I will add the accompaniment on the second A uh, and the second B part so that you can see how it uh, sounds with just the tune and how it sounds with accompaniment on the contra, of course. Mm -hmm. 